Hi, I'm Tamara. And my name's Ashao. And today we're going to be talking to you about the power of positive imagination and how we can use positive imagination to find so much more happiness and fulfillment in our lives. You know, I have had a fair amount of suffering or miserable feelings in my life and I often didn't realize that I was creating it myself. And it all starts or ends, starts and ends with our thinking. You know, what, what kind of thoughts are we entertaining? And whichever thought you have will lead you down another thought and another thought and sort of like, like keeps on splitting. And so if you go down a negative um, path, mm -hmm. you're asking yourself certain questions. And you can ask different questions to go down a positive path. And you have the, you have the power to choose. Mm -hmm. um, I know it doesn't feel like it at the time, but you do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, questions are very powerful. Because questions guide our thinking. So if I ask myself, Oh, why do I always do that? Why do I always say that in front of these people? My mind is going to automatically come up with answers to that question. Now if I ask myself a different question, like... Oh, how could I do that even better? Or how could I feel even more confident in social situations? Then my mind's going to come up with answers. Mm -hmm. And that's the creative process mm -hmm. of asking and receiving. And when we begin to consciously guide our imagination to bring up answers that are more in alignment with what we want, then we're going to find more joy in our lives. And so I'd like to address for a second what is imagination? Mm -hmm. So, in my opinion, imagination is the process of understanding reality. So if you think of our five senses, our five physical senses take in information and then interprets that information and we construct a model of reality. We imagine what we think is happening. It's our brain's best guess at what's what we're experiencing and so in a similar fashion we use imagination for all kinds of mental projections so if Tamara tells me she's like oh I didn't I didn't really like that dinner last night and now I can take that information and I'm gonna try to understand what that means and so I'm gonna project that limited amount of information and I'm going to Maybe think that she's angry. Maybe she's angry with me because I didn't make a good dinner. But that's just a mental projection. I'm imagining that reality. And that's how we make sense of the world. And so it's important to become aware of our mental projections and how we're creating the world. What is our view or perception of, the, of reality? Because that's going to affect everything. It's going to affect how we feel, how we think, how we act. And ultimately, the life that we live. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. I was just going to give some examples of, um, I'm touching different materials of earth and I would say, hey, this is smooth. And I could pass it to him and say, hey, this is smooth. And it's an opinion. I mean, maybe someone else would call it something else, but it's not, it's not prickling me. It's not hurting me. So I am interpreting this piece of life in a certain way. So, mm -hmm. and like what I'm trying to say is everyone will interpret one thing differently. Yeah. And so every situation that we experience, say Tamara and I are right here and we're both shooting this video, we're actually experiencing very different realities mm -hmm. internally. I have my own filters and she has her own filters. My imagination is creating a different reality experience than her mm -hmm. imagination is. Yeah, it's really, it's really wild and wonderful. And when we finally understand this, the power that it gives us to begin to guide the course of our day and second day and third day and when you decide you're going to take charge of your mind of your the ship yourself your mind and where your thoughts flow then that's the day your life changes and you truly can mm -hmm. turn 180 degrees around mm -hmm. with us in a second that's that's it is it is real as possible um the problem is um, we have so much momentum of negative thinking and mm -hmm. myself, uh, my own story, like when I started to realize that the mind, the thoughts that are in my mind are actually lies and all made up, um, somewhere in my mid to later 20s, I guess, is when I really, really started to realize it. 
um, it's been, you know, quite a few years now of catching it and, oh, there it is again. Oh, there it mm-hmm. is again. If you're familiar with archetypes, you might start to pinpoint which archetypes like to take over. The voice of the victim within you, the voice of the martyr within you, the voice mm-hmm. of the wounded child. Mm-hmm. Um, the and so school. if you take in that information mm-hmm. of, say you're in a victim archetype, and so some situation happens, maybe uh, you, someone stole your wallet and you lost a lot of money, now you might interpret that as meaning that the world is a bad place and, oh, why does this always happen to me? Why do people have to steal money? And it always happens to me. You know, people just can't stop taking from me. I don't have enough. And there, you can interpret that in that way and there's infinite other possibilities to interpret that situation. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Maybe you need a new wallet and you've been like... Yeah. procrastinating for so long it just had mm-hmm. to leave you or, right and that's where the imagination <laughs> comes in right you can come up with a different scenario mm-hmm. you can make it mean whatever you want I remember there was this one time when I was walking down this beautiful scenery I was walking across a bridge and I was taking this picture and then my daughter was getting very close to the edge of the bridge and I was got worried and I dropped my phone in the water and I in that moment, realized that I had a decision to make. What was this going to mean? Was this going to mean that, oh shit, I lost all my pictures, oh, my day is ruined, my my whole trip is ruined, really. Or, I could choose a different option. And what I imagined and what I decided that to mean was that, oh, this is an opportunity for me to be more present with the family members that I'm visiting with. And that's exactly what happened. Mm -hmm. My rest of my trip... I was more present with them because I wasn't distracted by my phone. And that was my decision. Mm -hmm. And that's the process that we need to practice. Like Mm -hmm. Tamara was saying, we have patterns. Mm -hmm. And we tend to decide to interpret Mm -hmm. things in a certain way. And with developing more awareness, Mm -hmm. different ways through practice, uh, mindfulness or meditation, we can become aware and we can choose Mm -hmm. to use our imagination in a positive direction. Precisely. And... Um, like currently I'm working on uh, my cue to remember to practice this first thing in the morning and for me because I'm a busy mom as soon as the day starts get gets going and I might just like forget and um, so the first thing in the morning is when I start noticing the flo- the thoughts flooding my brain and they're quite often not very good not very positive and I catch myself it's the first thing in the morning that I'm like oh practice positive questions so instead of whatever my brain is coming up with I start to guide it and say oh what if today's going to be a really good day Mm -hmm. Uh, how could I be right now with my daughter to make her feel very loved and Mm -hmm. and you know then we start giggling and laughing and I just try to focus on the positive and I'm making it a practice Mm -hmm. and it sort of evolved naturally but now I'm I've been like more conscious of it every day and this is my time to sort of practice positive thinking Mm -hmm. the the sort of guiding your thoughts along you know Mm -hmm. like this way oh no come this way oh you're going off again come back this way and it it Mm -hmm. will take time and practice and I think another thing is there's so much negativity around us unfortunately like there's a lot of people who I can just walk into a room and feel my energy go like let's just say I was just dancing or doing something to raise my vibration singing playing music making love and my vibration is high and then I go into bunch of people that are not feeling that then I can feel that that drop in my energy so um, I think the collective consciousness does affect us Um, and maybe that's just something we need to prepare and guard ourselves against and be like you know what I have this shield around because again use imagination right I have a shield around me that like protects me from the collective Mm -hmm. consciousness and Mm -hmm. um, just see yourself bubbling up with happy thoughts and the what if the most positive thing could happen and and that's, that's like, like what you were saying before with with our daughter you were saying you ask yourself a question right the questions that guide our thinking you asked well how could I be a very loving mother right now and in that same situation maybe you go in a room and you feel your energy drop you could ask yourself the question how can I be very compassionate right now mm-hmm. Or what, mm-hmm. what do I have to be grateful for? Mm-hmm. 
and your creative imagination is going to kick in and give mm. you answers. It, without fail, will give you answers. Mm -hmm. And that's a beautiful thing, really. It's, it's quite simple. We just have to ask ourselves the proper questions. Mm -hmm. And have in mind, what do I actually want to experience? Mm -hmm. Do I want to experience love or do I want to experience fear? Mm -hmm. And I always have that choice. And that's, that's truly powerful. So the question, what if, dot, 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 mm -hmm. question mark? Yeah. And so when you worry about something, there's kind of a series of thoughts that progress. So like you said, you might have a what if question that says, what if I go to that jungle, and I'm going on vacation, and what if I get bit by a spider? So that's the first step. You start to ask yourself, well, what if? What if that happens? You start to plant a seed. And then the next step comes in, you start to believe it. You start to think, well, well, I mean, it really could happen. There are poisonous spiders there, right? So then now you start to entertain the idea. You're starting to feed the seed. And the third step is you start to imagine it in detail. You just imagine where you're going to be, where where the spider's going to bite you, it's going to bite you on the leg, you're going to start to react, you're going to get an allergic reaction, and then now your body's starting to experience a mental reality, and it's getting a physical reaction. You're going to start to actually feel worry. You're going to start to feel panic about this mental reality that you just created, which is negative imagination. That's bringing you down a path that you don't want to go. And so you have the option to decide that you want to think about something different. You can use positive imagination. Well, what if I go there and I meet some really wonderful people? Oh, yeah, well, it's possible. I mean, uh, there's a lot of travelers who, who, go to, who go to Costa Rica. Well, yeah, it's, it's totally possible. So now you go through the second step. You planted the seed. You're entertaining the idea. And then you go into the third step. You go, well, yeah, maybe I'll, maybe I'll meet someone who's interested in making music. And we'll, and we'll play music together. And then now you're starting to feel excited and your body is getting a positive reaction to that. And that will affect your actions, which will ultimately affect your reality. And this is how you can go through life experiencing so much more joy and happiness and fulfillment, is that you're just deciding to live in a more positive reality because it's, you know, it's all reflected. Mm -hmm. How we see the world and how the world affects us. And some might, you know, maybe there's cynics out there that are like, oh, that's naive and they're not being realist and all this, right? Like, oh, you, you know, be, live in the reality and what if this does happen? What if that has happened? You know, look at how you feel when you naysay or when you worry. If you like how you feel when you do that, when someone does that, you know, like, then keep doing it. That's, you know, it's not, that's your choice, right? Mm -hmm. But if you don't like how you feel, if you don't like feeling disconnected and feeling anxiety, anxiety and, and yeah, just yeah. annoyed or frustrated or whatever, then choose something else. Choose, mm -hmm. choose to ask a, a better question. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cause like th life is what you're experiencing internally, right? With your thoughts and feelings. Like mm -hmm. life is that. Life your reality is, is like the reality you perceive. I yeah. mean, people might be like, oh, you guys are so lucky being in Costa Rica or whatever. And it's like, I take myself everywhere. I, I could live in hell in Costa Rica as much as I could live in hell in frozen Canada. You know, it doesn't, it's because it's how I'm perceiving the world. And it has, yeah, it has everything to do with how we think and mm -hmm. not really where we are or... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because so. you could make a mess out of the most beautiful situation with your negative imagination. Yeah. Or you could make the most beautiful experience out of what many people would interpret as being a very negative situation. Mm -hmm. It's really up for interpretation mm -hmm. through our imagination. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, like, good luck with it because I've been working on it for a long time and I, I still find myself sometimes falling into those negative uh, thinking traps and mm -hmm. um, luckily I have an amazing partner who I can communicate with and I always climb out and mm -hmm. it never feels like I'm there too long. It's and just like, having this tool, you can ask yourself yeah. a question, how can I have compassion for yeah. myself even when I'm not feeling yeah. well? Yeah, totally. And you know, and or what do I need in those situations? And talk to your partner about, you mm -hmm. know, when I when I feel the negative trap, like, 
I think I need you to come up and hug me and like maybe like come to these places inside of yourself to mm-hmm. get help to move through it because um, I know it's a strong pattern, a strong hold those those beliefs have on us that. Mm-hmm. But you know, use your imagination. Yeah. Let's just let them flex be free those, and like flex those positive imagination away. muscles. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So celebrate your imagination, enjoy your imagination and mm. Enjoy the reality that you create. You have so much power. We all have so much power. And I truly hope that you use that power to create a beautiful life for yourself and all of the ones that you love. Aho. Aho. So if you like this video, I'd love to hear in the comments below what you liked about it. Maybe what you want to hear more of. We're open to suggestions. So let me know and have a wonderful day. And subscribe. We have more videos coming out. Of, join the tribe. Yeah, join our tribe, the heart tribe. <laughs>